name is Emma Sanders. Who all here knows how to do a four roll? It's a pretty basic skill, but if you don't know how to do a four roll, listen carefully. I have been a gymnastics teacher for the past five years. This past year, I was given the position of lead instructor. I'm here today to not only demonstrate and explain how to do a four roll, but also provide y'all with some really neat background information. So today I'm gonna to be discussing the health benefits, the actual steps, and some common mistakes that I've seen. And I've seen a lot, because I teach two year olds. <laughs> so, you're probably thinking, why would I wanna learn a portal if you don't know how? So there's actually multiple health benefits related to doing a portal. For example, it improves and strengthens your bones. The Gymnastics Training Center of Rochester actually stated, less you will be less at risk for osteoporosis and other bone diseases for doing a four roll. So I thought that was pretty cool that, you know, just by doing a four roll, you would be less at risk for those things. Um, another thing is something that I think a lot of us might admit that we struggle with. Um, so four rolls, just like any other type of physical activity, can help with um, depression and anxiety. Mayo Clinic recently released an article stating Four goals will help you gain confidence, get more social interaction, and cope in a healthy way. So four goals are a quick and easy way to help battle depression and anxiety. So now to the actual performance of doing a four goal. And y'all just bear with me because this is probably the most complex explanation of a four goal you've ever heard. Okay, so just like I tell my two year olds, Big hands up. The easiest way to remember how to do one is to start and finish the same way. So you'll get your arms by your ears. The next step is putting your feet together. So with your arms up, you're gonna get your feet together. The further apart that your feet are, the harder it's gonna be to actually roll and get over. It's still possible, but it makes it a lot easier if you just start with your feet together. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna bend your knees. So with your arms up and your feet together, you're gonna bend your knees. You'll then place your hands slightly in front of your feet. If you place your hands way too far out, it's still possible to roll, but it's gonna be a lot harder to actually do so. So then, once you place your hands, you'll tuck your head. So what I usually tell my kids is I say, look at your belly. But to y'all, I'm just gonna say, touch your chin to your chest. Pretty much once you've given yourself a double chin, as you can see, you've got it. So then you're gonna bend your arms and place your head on the ground. Make sure when you place your head on the ground that your chin is still tucked into your chest. Because a lot of the times I see kids ending up straight on their head in like a handstand position. <laughs> so make sure otherwise you're just gonna like flat on your back. So then you're gonna push off your feet. This step is probably one of the most important because if you don't push hard enough, there's no way you're gonna have the momentum to actually get up onto your feet. So then you're gonna roll on your back. And once again, big hands up just like you started. Okay. Okay, I actually have a video of the complete four roll, and this is actually at my gym where I work. So start with your hands up, put them down, and stand up and finish. Oh, sorry. Okay, so now for the common mistakes I've seen, and I've seen just about every mistake you can make in the book. So the first thing, is opening up. Think about if you had a ball and you were rolling it and it opened up halfway through. It's not gonna go anywhere. So if you end up flat on your back, it's gonna be very hard to stand up. So this is a video demonstrating that. So I roll and then I open up and then I can't get up. Another mistake that I often see is hand placement. 
Just like I said before, if you place your hands too far out, it's gonna be super difficult to actually flip over. If you put your hands too far out, you will still be able to flip over, but it's not gonna be as easy if you just put your hands down. Gymnastics coach Tyson Edwards actually says to keep them close to your feet so there's no excessive effort required to get over. So this is a demonstration of me putting my hands way too far out and it looks awkward because it is. So you see I'm struggling and then I can get over but it's a lot harder. So now y'all all have the information to do your forward roll. Today we discuss the health benefits, the actual steps, and the common mistakes that I usually see doing four goals. Thanks y'all for coming and listening to my speech on how to do a four goal.